Ni hao. Hello in Mandarin Chinese. Welcome to Chinese Home Cooking Weeknight Show. Our demonstration today is Chinese country cornbread with spinach. Cornbread is popular here in the U.S. In addition to cornmeal, the American cornbread is added with eggs, milk, and lots of sugar. So it tastes quite sweet and soft, almost like a dessert. Unlike American cornbread, the Chinese cornbread is typically made from cornmeal only. Sometimes vegetables are added. A savior dipping sauce often goes with it. It tastes quite different from the American cornbread, though delicious nevertheless. And it's certainly a healthier version. Why don't you give it a try? Now, before we start, let's take a look at what we need for the dish. Here's the list of ingredients. Before we start cooking, let's work on the preparation of ingredients. Here we have half cup lukewarm water. We're going to mix the water with quarter teaspoon of yeast and quarter teaspoon of sugar. The sugar helps the yeast and stir well. Here we have one cup cornmeal. You can use corn flour if you prefer a smoother texture. And we're going to mix it with the yeast water. Mix well. And we're going to let the dough rest for five minutes before we add spinach in. Eight ounces frozen spinach defrosted. A quarter teaspoon salt. The dipping sauce consists of two cloves of garlic minced, two tablespoons Chinese dark vinegar, one tablespoon soy sauce, and one teaspoon sesame oil. Mix well. Three cups water for steaming. The dough has been rested for five minutes. Now we're going to add quarter teaspoon of salt and the spinach. Mix well. The dough has been mixed well with spinach. We are ready to make cornbread of our preferred size now. There are different ways to make the cornbread. This is the way how I like to do it. I just use one hand to grab whatever my hand could hold and just press it and hold it and form a shape. This is a a cornbread, the way how I made it. We have finished making eight pieces cornbread and lay on the plate and with a wet paper towel and it's ready to be steamed. We finished the preparation and now we are ready to cook. I've just turned on the heat to 400 degrees, which is high heat for an electric stove and a gas stove. I just added 
three cups of water for steaming and a steaming rack. We're going to steam the bread for 10 minutes after it starts boiling. It takes about four minutes for the water to come to a boil. So the total cooking time is 14 minutes with cover on. It's been 10 minutes since the water started boiling. It is done. I just turned off the heat. Serve hot. Enjoy. Let's have a quick review of what we done. I hope you enjoy this dish, which is fast, affordable, and tasty. Happy home cooking. I look forward to seeing you again very soon.